Hello guys, Sorin Constantin here. Welcome to our first lecture from our course on social media images. Uh, I've created for you a small introduction to the course so you can understand better the benefits that you will get out of this course and why it's important to be very careful with your images in social media and what type of impact can they have into your business. Now let's dive in with the information exactly as uh, I've told you before we need to focus on why is this so important for you to to use uh, very good social media images to engage your audience and to have a very good impact overall on your business now uh, the first thing that I would uh, I would underline is that images increase your conversions in social media with even more than 150 percent compared to text posts that is absolutely huge you can just think about it like this if you have an income out of a of a business by using social media of up to one thousand dollars per month this can increase your income to two thousand five hundred dollars per month so this is the actual impact that this can have over your business into your actual business now another thing that uh, it's very important to keep in mind is that uh, images help you engage your audience a lot it has been proven before that uh, the first thing, for example, uh, the first thing that uh, people look at when they see an ad on Facebook is the image. That will make them click on your ad and uh, after that some of the people that see the ad will actually read the text. But most of them will click on your ad because of the image. Now, uh, as you know already, an image worth a thousand words. And the message you send is much, much stronger when you use an image. Okay, why? Because uh, images are emotional and they have a, a much higher impact uh, over your audience. Okay. And the last thing that I would underline, though there are many other important things related to images, I thought that these four of them are uh, the ones that uh, have the, the greatest impact in the beginning when s starting to use properly uh, images in your social media campaigns and marketing. Uh, the last one that I would underline and point out is that uh, images helps, wi uh, helps with uh, your online branding. Even if it's uh, for a business, okay, even if it's for personal branding, uh, it's keeping a sense of, uh, of unity and flow. People can recognize better your personal style. Uh, that if you will use a, a certain personal style which is called uh, uh, which is called the brand uh, system uh, brand system for recognition okay and practically that means to use the same colors all the time to use a logo and other stuff like that but images help a lot to to keep a sense of unity of your brand and to make people recognize you uh, much much better uh, that was all guys i thank you for your attention you know already that you are awesome and i will see you guys in the next lecture where, where we will talk a little bit about the structure of this course thank you and i send you my best wishes sorin constantin here hello everybody sorin here welcome to our next lecture from our course on social media images and in this lecture, we will talk about uh, about the structure of this of this course and uh, exactly uh, which are the topics that we will cover and uh, which are the tools that you will see and what you will actually learn in this course. So first of all, uh, in the first part of the course, uh, you will see uh, tools that will help you create, resize and enhance your images for social media. That means that uh, you will use your own images, uh, for example, maybe a photo of yourself to create a profile image or something that you want to post on your wall on Facebook or something that you want to tweet on Twitter or if you want to use maybe as a, a brand or a profile photo or cover photo for your uh, LinkedIn profile. So we will actually use more some of your own images to uh, to create them, to resize them to the proper sizes uh, so that uh, that your audience sees them correctly and to enhance them uh, for using them on your social accounts. Now in the, f in the second part we will see tools and you will uh, actually learn about tools that uh, allow you to use templates, uh, different backgrounds and graphics to create more professional looking images. Uh, you will see that we have uh, a couple of uh, very very good alternatives online that you can fastly use, have uh, proven to convert templates, uh, different types of graphics, icons and backgrounds that will create uh, amazing images uh, for your social media accounts.
Then in the fourth part, we will talk about uh, tools that allow you, allow you to create viral images like quotes images. I think that everybody has seen that uh, lately uh, there are a lot of, uh, there is like a trend, okay, in using viral images with quotes. And for example, if you are in the personal development niche, if you are a trainer, if you are a coach, this can be very helpful. Uh, also, if you are in network marketing, these are just a couple of examples of uh, of. Uh, of uh, businesses or uh, jobs okay in which you can be involved and uh, in which uh, this type of tools can help you a lot because people are into this type of, of images and this can create virality for your brand and for your business and that means more exposure and overall more revenue for your business and in the fourth part obviously we'll talk about other tools that can be very interesting for your image uh, creation okay different tools that you can use and also uh, in time i will add more lectures to this course i will update the course and uh, i will uh, also add bonus lectures for you guys surprises that i know you will love along the way uh, thank you for your attention you know that you are awesome i will see you guys in the next lecture i send you my best wishes till then sorry in here bye bye Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome uh, to our first uh, lecture uh, wh where we actually talk about a tool that you can use for yourself to enhance and uh, create your images, your own images for social media use. Uh, it's called Social Ma Media Image Maker. It's an online tool. You can use it uh, whenever you want, from wherever you want, and you can create uh, stunning images and uh, with the right sizes that you can use, uh, for example, for your profile image on Facebook, okay, or LinkedIn or Twitter to create your cover photo on Facebook. Uh, okay or to create different types of posts also for Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn or whatever type of, uh, of social media you are using. Uh, this is the main page of the app as you can see. Uh, you can find the app here at this uh, link that you see here in my browser. Okay, autoplanet.com slash app uh, social media image maker. So uh, just write this down, okay, or copy it into your browser and you will have access to this tool immediately. You don't have to create any type of account. It's completely free. So you don't have to worry that uh, anybody will have your email address and send you all the time different promotions, okay? This is a free tool that you can use uh, exactly as I've told you before, from wherever you want, whenever you want. So uh, let's start to, to see exactly how you can use this tool it's actually very very simple you can see that here in the left side of the screen you have a menu okay for every social media platform that you can use this tool for for example you have facebook twitter youtube google plus flickr vimeo you have a lot a lot of uh, a lot of social media platforms here uh, most probably you will use it for facebook twitter linkedin maybe some of you guys are using tumblr also Pinterest and uh, YouTube but uh, most of the people are using it for Facebook Twitter and LinkedIn exactly as uh, as I've told you before so for example you select Facebook okay this is the first uh, the first one and you have here different types of uh, templates that you can use the platform for you have cover image okay to create your cover photo you have profile image you have normal posts you have highlighted posts okay event if you create uh, events on facebook for example maybe you have a business uh, you have a restaurant or club or pub or something like that okay and you are creating events all the time it's very important to have an attractive uh, image for your event that you have created okay application images maybe you are creating uh, different types of apps on your page also you need a very good image so for example uh, let's choose the profile image so you guys can see exactly how this app works uh, you just uh, press the button create here okay and the editor will load now the first thing that you will do is to add your file okay and for I will show you an example okay I will choose a photo for example let us choose this photo okay uh, this image can be used for it's a very good image that can be used for a profile image but uh, it doesn't have the right size okay and also we can make some enhancements to it so for example uh, this is the right size okay for uh, for uh, a Facebook profile image we click the button apply 
okay then we can add some uh, some different effects from from here from this upper menu okay for example we can add this effect we can add wild wild west okay mr spock uh, this one looks, uh, looks really nice woodstock so we have different effects uh, this uh, this image wor was uh, this photo was already a professional photo, so it doesn't need uh, enhancements. But uh, if you want different types of effects, for example, this one can be a very good type of effects. Okay, 80s, it looks very nice. Uh, after that, you have okay, you press the button. Okay, you have other enhancements that you can make. For example, sharpen the photo. Okay, blur the photo. You can add more noise. Okay, to the photo, desaturate the photo. Uh, you can focus the photo for example this is a very good effect that a lot of people uh, add focus line it it uh, gives it a professional look if you just focus on the subject in a profile image for example we can select the, the focus line and uh, these kinds of give it uh, an even more professional look uh, in my opinion if you have seen uh, video videos or different types of professional photos uh, the ones that give you the most uh, credibility and uh, trust uh, uh, and also professional look okay have to uh, have this separation between the subject the main subject and uh, the rest of the background okay the re the background uh, most uh, most of the times it's uh, it's blurred okay and it gives you a more professional look now we just go to see if we can make any other enhancements okay you can uh, choose the name of the of the photo okay for example and you can choose the type of the photo if you want it to be a PNG or an uh, or or the standard one, okay, the uh, JPEG, okay, standard. And after that, you just download the image, okay. Thank you for waiting while downloading your file. You will see your file is downloaded here. You just uh, press on show in folder and you will have access to it instantly. Obviously, when you download it, you can uh, instantly share it. And this is a very cool function on Facebook, Twitter or uh, or wherever you wanted to, to use it for. Okay, for whatever platform you wanted to use it for. So now we press cancel and that's it. That's how simple it is to use social media image maker. So you can practically resize and enhance your images for your profiles, covers uh, and posts in just a couple of uh, seconds of, or minutes. OK, so I hope uh, this will be helpful for you guys. I hope this uh, that you will uh, find this tool very useful because you can actually create very fast, very good images for your uh, social media accounts. Thank you again for your attention. You know already you are awesome and I will see you in our next lecture. I send you my best wishes. Sorin here. Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome to our next lecture, to our next tool on uh, how to use uh, uh, online tools to create uh, different social media images. Uh, we are in the section where we talk about tools that you can use on your own images to get them to the right size for your social media accounts to enhance them if you want to and after that to save them and upload them uh, directly to your social media accounts for example for Facebook profile Facebook cover photos Twitter images or posts and so on uh, this is another very very simple tool that you can use to uh, take your images to the right size for your social media accounts it's from internetmarketingninjas.com you can see here the web address in my browser okay internetmarketingninjas.com uh, slash CEO tools slash five, uh, five, uh, five icon generator crop images is the social media is the social image resizer tool and it's actually a very very simple uh, tool to use you just click here on the upload button for example if you want to you just click on the choose file button for example if you want to use it for an uh, for a profile photo for Facebook you just click on the open okay on the upload uh, you just click on the upload section and then you practically select uh, choose the size you choose the size for example if you want for facebook cover photo profile photo tab link image whatever you want okay you have here all the all, all the type of uh, the most used images that you want for example we select the facebook profile photo this is the right selection uh, you can choose th that part of the photo that you want to appear in your profile photo uh, you click on the done editing button okay then you can send it for example to an email or you can download it directly so you download the image you have the image here in your downloaded section and that's it 
it's very very easy to use and uh, practically you'll use this tool only for resizing to the right uh, to the right size your your uh, your photos your images if you want for your profile or your cover photos uh, i hope you will use this tool because it's actually very very simple it's for already uh, done photos that you can use and just take them to you to the right size thank you guys for your attention you know already you are awesome i send you my best wishes sorin here and i will see you in our next lecture bye bye for now Hello guys, Sorin Constantin here. Welcome to our next uh, lecture, to our next tool for uh, social media images uh, creation. And uh, uh, this tool, it's actually exactly la la like the last two ones that you have seen. It's a tool that uh, you can use mostly for your own images, for your own photos, to enhance them, uh, to, to make them better, to resize them to a certain size that uh, will fit your social media accounts. Uh, this one it's uh, actually a more complex tool that, than you have seen before because it also has some templates, some very nice effects. It has uh, more features than the one that you have seen. Also you don't need to create any account whatsoever. You can access it whenever you want from wherever you want. You just need your laptop, a PC and internet connection. Okay. Uh, and you're ready to go you're ready to create your uh, your images and actually this uh, this tool has three options uh, it's called the website it's called bfunky.com as you can see here in my uh, web browser okay so the tool actually it's called bfunky and you have three options uh, that you can choose from to work with uh, bfunky you have the photo editor you have the collage the collage maker and you have the designer and I will show you step by step exactly what you can do with uh, each of them. We will go first, we will uh, enter the photo editor and you will see exactly how you can use it. Then we will have a look at the collage maker. And after that, finally, we will take a look at the designer option too. So let's dive in the information and let's go to the photo editor. You just click on the button. You will wait for, uh, for, the, for the app to, to load. And now you have more options to upload a photo from your computer, okay, or to test and use one of their photos right here. And for the sake of this example, I will use one of their photos. For example, I will use this lady in the middle because it's a more suited uh, it's a more suited photo for a profile photo for example, if you want to use it for your LinkedIn profile or uh, for your Facebook profile. Uh, I'm not saying that you should use uh, this lady's photo but uh, I'm saying that this is how a photo should look like okay for your profile or for your LinkedIn for example it's called Facebook okay it, the, it's called Facebook because people need to see your face and this is a typical uh, very good profile photo for Facebook as an example because this lady is looking right at the camera she's smiling and we can see very very well her face so let's take this one as an example you just choose the photo and you will see that uh, this tool has a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of options that you can use. You can play with. For example, if we go to the layer manager, you can add more layers to a photo, exactly like in a professional uh, editor that you install on your computer. For example, like uh, like Adobe Photoshop or something like that. Uh, you can add more layers to to an image. And this is the place where you can add layers. Okay, you can take a layer forward, you can take a layer backwards and so on. Uh, for example, if I press the button add a layer, I cannot add another image on top of this one. Okay, so I can have this image right here. And for example, we can actually choose a color overlay if we want to for the image. It has a certain opacity. And also we can, uh, we can select the opacity of this image okay of this new layer that we have created so we can see through it so it has trans transparency so we can see through it the, the image behind for example we can set its opacity from here and as you can see when you set the opacity higher okay for example at 100 percent you see only that image in that spot where it is if you set the opacity lower it will have transparency this is very cool if you want to do different effects, okay? Now, let's have a look at other options that uh, that bfunky.com has. For example, in the edit section, you have the crop, okay? You can practically crop your image. 
you can select for portrait okay for landscape you can select a certain aspect ratio from the one that they have for example the golden ratio okay uh, you can lock the aspect ratio so when you resize it uh, your width and your height will be the same as for the original photo okay and uh, this one it's an option that you can use okay the crop image uh, option okay another another option that you can use is the resize image here okay also you can lock the aspect ratio and then you can rotate if you want to you can cut out background you can select a, bra a background for example a paint okay uh, then you can select the exposure for example you can tweak the brightness of the photo as you can see right now okay you can make it look darker you can make it look brighter okay you can then play with the contrast for example you can have a more for myself in my personal opinion uh, photos that have a higher contrast look more vivid they have more vivid colors and they inspire you more okay but that's my personal opinion you can play with that see exactly how it works but for a profile picture i would recommend that uh, that your uh, your profile photo has a very good contrast okay you can make different highlights okay play with the highlights with the shadows okay you can fill in with light so you have a lot a lot of options that you can you can use as you can see this this uh, small app this be funky it's actually full of cool features that you can use okay i will go out of exposure now you have the beautify section okay this will play with your skin for example with the skin of the person will add it will identify the skin and will play with that uh, uh, with that area of the photo that uh, that you have okay this is an option maybe some of you guys have seen it there are certain smartphones for example like the ones from Huawei okay or uh, most of the time smartphones that have Android on them they have this option for their performance cameras okay it's a beautify that's how it's called okay then we have the color for example uh, you can choose the color okay in the photo the saturation the temperature you can play with all of this stuff to enhance your image after that we have the sharpen okay the sharpen effect to create a more crisp and clear image as you can see here okay you have more detail okay the detail it's much better seen when uh, you use the sharpen uh, effect and also you have the vignette effect which creates uh, a more studio effect if you want to say so for a photo okay it, it has like a more professional touch and it depends how you use it but it, it can be very very helpful and uh, it can give a, a very professional look to a photo for example now let's have a look into the blur and smooth area you have also the smoothing effect and this is how the smoothing effect looks like okay it makes uh, it makes your photo uh, like it, it has like a tent of, of, a, of a blurry shade but it's not actually a blurry okay uh, you also have the blur effect where it makes everything more unclear uh, then we have the funky focus which obviously in my opinion also creates a very professional effect uh, if I if I were, were to choose something uh, from these effects to add to my profile photo uh, especially if I don't have a white background in my back I would choose a blur uh, a funky focus blur effect you understand it has a more much more professional look and you can select the area okay for example here that's how it should uh, it should look like okay you, we have like a more more professional touch okay uh, when you have everything when you have the subject okay very focused and the background it's more detached and blurry okay uh, your attention as a viewer will go directly to to the focus where the focus is so this will drive people's attention to you okay and not to the background when you are using a white uh, screen background it's no problem because you are the only thing that they will see but when you are in a different context uh, a blurred okay a blurred background a detached background uh, will help you get the attention of uh, your viewers so this is a very interesting effect okay you also have so the softening effect the blurred edges and you have different other effects but i will let you play with each and any of these effects and see exactly how they work okay i won't go into any more details 
now we have the touch up okay for the touch up for example if you have that's why i i've chosen I, i've chosen this photo because you can use for example different effects that you can apply to your skin for example uh the wrinkles okay it will eliminate wrinkles from a photo if it detects them uh, then we have the blemish okay which adds different types of effects we have the bronzer this one it's absolutely awesome okay uh, this is how it will look like okay you just add the bronzer I don't know if you guys can see in the example but you can add the bronzer okay on a certain surface and for example you can play with the strength and as you, if you have a look here okay in this area it looks like uh, this person it stand okay it was at a, at a tanner shop or something like that okay you can uh, adjust the brush size the brush hardness okay you have different types of colors for the bronzer so this is a very cool effect also as you can see you can do a lot a lot of things with uh, with the effects that uh, that be funky has uh, you also have the flash spot okay uh, we also have the clone mascara eye color so most of this most of this uh, this photo here in the touch-up section are for profile photos uh, dedicated okay why because it will enhance your uh, your profile photo okay your portrait photo let's say so okay you can add different effects uh, to your photo to look much much better in your photos okay uh, I know everybody for sure will use this one to create awesome profile photos because it can actually work very well let's see what other effects we have we have different types of effects here okay we have the featured effect for example uh, we can use something like this okay uh, we can use something like this thin types okay we have chromatic effects when we can use different types of, of effects as you can see here in the preview section okay we, you can see exactly what you get from your image if you apply any of the effect here we have uh, black and white effects okay different types of black and white and variations the grunge effect uh holga art for example okay this one is very interesting so we have different different things that you can use with uh, with be funky then we have the the artsy effects okay uh, we have frames that you can add for example you can add a frame like this okay this can be something very very cool if you want to to add to your photo and this can be more helpful i will let you guys play with this but i just wanted to show you an example then you have different graphics that you can add uh, for example let's have a look here you can add something like this to your photo okay you can resize it okay put it somewhere like like here okay you can add different different types of uh, of graphics that you have here as you can see you have different types of uh, of graphics that you can add you can select from a very a very uh, big collection of graphics okay you can add your own graphics icons i will show you further in this course how to find very good icons and graphics that you can use for your photos then you have different types of overlays that you can use for example the holidays okay overlays uh, then you can add different types of of text for example my favorite one is this one lucky okay you also get these messages these are very cool tips that you can use for your images okay uh, from from be funky okay got it for example you can add this text which actually is very cool just double click on it to edit it okay so this is a very cool cool function you can add different types of text to your images and then you have different textures light trails is my favorite one and let us have a look at it for example you can add something like this to your photo as you can see here in this part so you can add very very cool stuff with uh, with be funky to your photos okay so that was all guys i wanted to show you uh, a little bit how this works exactly okay how be funky works it's actually a very very good software that you can use okay as you can see it has a ton a ton of features i don't think that if you stay a week on this uh, on this app you you won't have the time to actually test everything that you can test and work on all the features and the best part is that you have this free version that works very well okay you can absolutely use most of their features also you have another uh, 
okay another pro version when you where you have a, a, some more effects that you can use but that it's up to you if you want to use it or not uh, i think that the, the free section offers you the best that it, it can in the next lecture we will focus on the collage on the collage maker i will show you exactly how to use that too because it's actually very very simple it's much more simpler than the photo editor that you have seen and after that we'll take a look into the uh, into the designer section of uh, be funky uh, thank you guys for your attention. You know already you are awesome. I wish you all the best and I will see you in our next lecture. Sorin here. Bye bye. Hello guys, Sorin Constantin here. Welcome to our next lecture on uh, BeFunky.com, okay? The online app that allows you to create awesome photos for your social media accounts and not just for your social media, but also for your marketing uh, campaigns, your email marketing campaigns and so on. We have uh, we have seen exactly how you can use the photo editor before in previous lectures, but now I wanted to show you guys how you can use the collage maker, which actually it's awesome and it's very easy uh, to use. Okay, it's a great tool that Be Funky offers, and you can create instantly great images. Okay, that you can post on your social media accounts or uh, that you can use in different marketing purposes so if you are on the front page of uh, the bfunky.com app uh, you just go to the collage maker you click on it okay and the app will uh, will load now you can do different stuff for example upload the images that you want okay you just take the images okay and put them in their in their spaces for the collage okay uh, for example you can select an auto fill section okay to see exactly how it will look like you can change anything between them okay you can change their spots as you can see uh, you can edit their effects okay for example the sizes okay you can rotate them you can flip them if you want to okay you can open an image in the ed in the image editor if you want to okay and apply all the effects that you have seen in the photo editor and that it's absolutely awesome now auto enhance okay we are applying the auto enhance and now we are saving okay cancel okay cancel now we are back to the uh, collage maker so you can do different you can edit each of the images that you have added to the collage and that is the most Im important part now exactly how do you edit the collage okay to make it look in different uh, in different shapes okay in different forms and stuff like that you just use the bars okay you have here it's very simple to use okay and you can you can give different types of, uh, of looks to your collage okay you just use the bars and with your mouse you just click and drag to the left to the right okay upwards downwards and it will change the look of your collage so this is exactly how you add collages okay how you add photos and you edit your collage now for example you have different templates from which you can choose for your collage you have the future the grid let's for example let's choose the grid okay where you have different types and forms that you can use obviously you also have paid forms that you need to upgrade to the pro version to be able to use them but for example we can have a look at this one okay which absolutely looks awesome you can edit it for example okay you can edit each of the photos you can set everything the spacings okay between your your photos okay for example now you have like a more a more fresh look okay it's a more clear look okay it's not uh everything so crowded okay the elements are are uh, are more spaced you can add rounded corners round corners to your photos okay you can do a lot of stuff you can add even a background color for example okay to your collage okay you can do every anything that you want to you also can add different patterns okay to your collage as you can see for the background so this is very nice you can add graphics Halloween okay you can do like a, a greeting card maybe you want to do a greeting card okay so this can be awesome to create a greeting card so this is actually an awesome software as you can see and also you can add the test function the text function exactly as you have seen in the in the photo editor okay where you can type whatever you want and choose from different fonts 
different sizes okay spacing different spacing between okay you can align the text as you want to choose a different color okay choose the opacity the blend okay the blend uh, effect you it can be more darken okay it can be a hard light so you can do a lot you have a lot of features and effects as you can see so the collage maker can be awesome for example if you want to uh, if you have a business where you are organizing different types of events okay maybe you want to post photos from an event and you don't want to post thousands of photos uh, on which people uh, don't even have the patience to go through okay you make like two or three collage photos okay where you put the most uh, uh, the most attractive photos from the event and that's how you market your event okay that's how you get people's attention to that event and for those of them who want to see more you maybe create a separated album with photos so this is a way this is an example of how you can use use the collage okay you can do different types of ads for example you can use the collage function to create maybe a, uh, an image for a facebook ad but uh, an image that also promotes an event or something like that where you need to insert different types of photos that uh, send a message okay and underline your activity so i think this can be very very helpful okay the the collage function of be funky can be very helpful guys as you have seen it has a tons of features i will let you play with it and see for yourself exactly how cool this app is now thank you for your attention guys you know already you are awesome and i will see you in the next lecture i send you my best wishes so in here bye bye till our next lecture Hello, welcome back to our course and to our lecture. In this lecture, I will show you a tool of Be Funky that will help you create different types of images for uh, different uh, purposes. For example, you can create uh, images for event covers. You can create also business cards. You can create images for your social media accounts. Uh, you can create practically email headers and so on. You can create uh, various types of, uh, of images with different shapes, forms, and you can use uh, different templates that BeFunky offers to you to create uh, amazing images that are already proven to have a very good impact because of the templates. So when you are already in the photo editor or in the collage section, you just go on the small icon with BeFunky, you press on it, you select the designer mode, and this is it. We are already in the designer mode okay here in the left part you have the menu and you have the templates first then you have the project manager the image manager the background design elements and text for example we can start with the templates if you go to the templates another window with the menu will open for you it's like a drop down menu but it's sideways and you have for example event graphics you can create invitations you can create menus if you have a restaurant or something like that you can create thank you cards uh, then you have the small businesses where you find business cards letterhead and other type of images blogger resources okay infographics for example you can create stunning infographics uh, obviously if you didn't know already infographics have a huge impact for your audience a lot of uh, successful bloggers and a lot of companies are using infographics to send a powerful message a strong statistics in their marketplace and obviously infographics are very often shared with other people and have a tendency to go viral so it can be a good idea um, but that it depends on your business to use infographics why because you can generate virality uh, obviously it would be a, a, an even better idea for you to create an infographic that wasn't already made uh, in your marketplace okay or a statistic for a certain part of your marketplace that wasn't already researched or has or doesn't have have already an infographic similar with yours so uh, it would be a very good idea to come with something new and your chances to get that thing viral that infographic viral and get massive exposure for your business even by using social media it's absolutely huge it can have a great impact uh, overall into your business so i strongly recommend you use infographic and also share them on uh, on social media because they can have a great impact and then we have the special social media images inside the, the designer mode here on be funky okay we have the social media headers for facebook twitter google plus etsy and youtube and the social media graphics 
also for Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus or Pinterest. Also, we have different blank templates for event graphics, social media and blog resources. For example, if we go to the social media headers and we select the Facebook section, we can select like a, a very nice cover photo. For example, maybe if you have like a pastry shop or something like that, you can choose this one, uh, this cover photo, which is with macaroons. OK, but this is just an example. You can select this template and after that you can edit it, of course. OK, we have here uh, on practically on uh, overall, we have uh, an integrated image. OK, this is an, in, an already created image, but you can select every single part of this image. For example, here we have like a graphic. You can edit this graphic. OK, uh, you can rotate it. You can make it smaller. Here we have te text. OK, you can choose to edit this text. We also have smaller images here. And now, for example, we can add different stuff to this uh, to this template. We can go to the project manager, OK, or to the image manager. Uh, let's see the design elements. We go to the design elements and here we can choose different things, OK, and different elements that we can integrate in our images. For example, we can choose different types of lines. OK, we can select select something like this. OK, we can, uh, for example, go and select a ribbon, maybe if we are the ribbon type, OK, or if it suits to our business, we can select different types of shapes exactly uh, like we see here. OK, and we have even badges. Badges are very good for uh, ads. For example, if you create a Facebook ad, maybe you want to promote a special offer with a discount. You can uh, write that discount inside of a badge, maybe a red badge to get your viewers attention. OK, or something like that. That's an example. We have frames. OK, uh, we can create, uh, I don't know, we have elements for infographics, for weddings. OK, we have a lot, a, a ton of, uh, of different uh, elements for social media, for example. OK, uh, also we have illustrations of various kinds that we can use. So you have a lot of cool, a lot of cool elements that you can integrate. And the last part is to add different types of texts to your uh, OK, to your uh, cover photo like uh, this one. Then you can edit it. OK, you can add different effects like font size, OK, font family, spacing, uh, alignment, uh, overlay, opacity and other very cool uh, effects and the features that you have. So overall, it's a very, very simple to use and very efficient tool because you already have these templates that you can work on and uh, create your very own uh, professional cover photo images, for example. So that with that being said, uh, the design section of BeFunky, it's uh, also uh, like the previous two, uh, two other options, the collage maker and the photo editor. It's a very, very powerful tool that you can use to create uh, stunning images for your social media accounts. And I hope it will be very helpful for you in the future and for your business. Now, thank you guys again for your attention. I won't un underline it again. You know already that you are awesome. Thank you for your attention. I send you my best wishes and I will see you guys in our next lecture. Bye bye for now. Sorin here. Hello guys, Sorin Constantin here. Welcome to our next lecture from the course on Facebook marketing. I'm very excited to be here with you because I want to show you in this lecture uh, an app that I absolutely love. It will be very useful in creating your images for social media posts, uh, Twitter posts, Instagram, uh, whatever type of social media channel you use. But uh, I will show you some examples on Facebook ads because uh, this is what we are uh, mainly talking about in this course. And uh, you will see that you already have some presets, uh, some presets that you can use and that will uh, will make your uh, your work much easier in creating a perfect ad that you can use and that can be relevant for your for your niche and that can get you conversion and very good, uh, very good to click through rates and obviously uh, very, very cheap ads. So the app is called uh, Snap Yo, Snap Yo, exactly as you see here in my uh, in my browser bar 
okay uh, i will uh, i will also uh, maybe uh, add you a text at the end of this lecture with uh, with the name of the app okay and it's practically a cloud based app where you can enter you create an account for free okay you will use you can use it from any type of browser or from anywhere you are and you have internet on a computer on a laptop uh, wherever you want uh, and also the nice thing is that uh, all the ads that you create, all the images, the graphics that you create will be saved in this cloud-based app and you will have access at them at any time to edit them, download them or do whatever you want with them. So as you can see here, I am uh, I am actually logged in my account so you can can create different type of graphics with uh, with this app okay uh, as you can see here this is my dashboard here I have my graphics if I will enter my graphics it will show the uh, the designs that I have already created for example I have this one here okay this is an example it's an older one and if I will go to the create graphics section I will have uh, more types of uh, of uh, of posts, ads, images, designs from which I can select, okay? Uh, standard dimensions that uh, social media, that the biggest social media platforms are using. For example, I have social media posts, okay? If I want to use an, Im if I want to create an image that I will use for a post on my social media channels, I will select from here and create a post. As you can see, I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. This is absolutely awesome. Then I have the ad section for Facebook ad normal, Facebook ad carousel because you, you know that you have the, the images that are coming one after the other in the carousel. Uh, then you have the Twitter, okay, and then you have some standard uh, type of banners, okay, like uh, leaderboard, skyscraper. Also you have for blog, okay, blog featured image, blog normal image, headers for your emails, Twitter or Facebook cover photo. Okay, I will show you now some examples with the Facebook ad because that is the most uh, important for you, okay? And that is uh, the one that you will probably use, uh, use this app the most for. So uh, if I will click on the Facebook ad button, okay, I have some options here. And uh, in my opinion, you should use these options because they are preset uh, images that are proven to convert, okay, they have created them specially to be proven to convert and you can edit them. Obviously you have the option to create your own from scratch but it will be harder because you, you have to insert everything but uh, here you, you have the option to select a, a template, okay, that has been already proven to, to work and you have a lot of templates here and also very very important be careful you know that Facebook has the 20% the text rule okay you cannot add more than 20% text in an image of an ad because uh, otherwise it, wo it won't be approved by Facebook okay and this, uh, these ads are all are all already created in such a way okay in such a matter that they respect this this rule of 20% text so you just have to you just have to replace replace the text with your own and you're ready to go okay maybe you want to add some more icons i don't know graphics to the image but you're ready to go with the text and as you can see you have a lot of templates here okay for example launch your career i like this one very much okay the guide to copywriting boost productivity today uh, grow your fa your traffic fast some of summer deals okay there are more than uh, than i seen the last time i i've entered on the app okay for webinars okay free webinar today uh, free pdfs okay reports uh, how to sell online okay uh, so you have different types of uh, of uh, of images okay of templates that you can use for example let's select uh, this one okay zero to hero so you have an example exactly how you can use the app itself Okay, we are just waiting a couple of uh, minutes for it, a couple of seconds for it to load. It has been loaded already. Okay, so for example, this one could be for uh, accounting services. Okay, an ad, maybe if you have an accounting form, this can be an ad for accounting services. Okay, the nice part is that you can edit everything from this, uh, from this ad. For example, you can edit here the text. Okay, you can select your fonts. Your uh, your dimensions for your fonts, but the dimensions I I recommend you to to leave them as they are. Okay, the alignment, the text opacity. Okay, you can make it uh, to be more transparent if you want to. Uh, you can move it as an object uh, backward. Okay, or forward. 
on the on the canvas okay you can select the color you have a lot a lot of options you can add effects to your uh, okay to your background to your ads to everything you want for example you have a color overlay on this background you can select the effects okay you can make it more blurry for example and so on you have different types of effects okay coming on to the editing part okay coming again to the editing part for example you have this icon you can select its opacity okay text again you you can practically edit everything you see here now if you want to add more things okay to this uh, uh, to this image for example a uh, different background you want to select a different background if you go to the background section you will see you also have some templates here okay uh, you have some templates or if you do not find what you want you can upload your own stuff okay my media you just go to my media you upload an image and that's it it's simple as that okay for example I can select this one here and you will see it will load in the background as you can see it's in the background okay I can select the coffee one so you have different different options it's a very very cool you also uh, a very very cool app you also have patterns from which you can select okay as you can see here different types of patterns that you can use for your uh, for your images my recommendation for example this ad has blue in it i wouldn't put blue in it but you have the other elements that will uh, that will uh, get your viewers attention but i wouldn't use blue because it's facebook color and people can think that uh, that maybe it's an app from facebook or something like that and your uh, your ad won't be so attractive anymore okay so you have all of this you have standard color you can select just a standard color for your background so you have a lot of things that you can use then you have graphics okay you can insert graphics different type of icons in your uh, in your uh, in your image which can which can be very useful illustrated type of images have been proven to convert very very well okay so for example you have uh, here this uh, small computer you can select something else okay for example we can delete this image just press the delete button and we can add something like okay 26 this can be a declaration day okay <laughs> when people have to have to go to the financial administration okay and give their their income declarations or something it can be representative okay it was like a joke this so but it's an example okay you can use everything that you want here to create more your ad more relevant okay for your niche so use this because uh, this uh, these icons can be very very useful for you okay it can make your ad much more relevant for your niche okay so you have different different types of uh, of icons here you can combine them use them in different styles okay so this is a very nice feature that the app has and that you can use in your advantage as you can see there is a large number of uh, of icons that you can use okay you can also upload your own i will show you on website where you can find icons that you can use for your images uh, now you also have shapes maybe you want to insert certain shapes like uh, rectangles okay uh, triangles stars and other things like that lines of all sorts so you can add also shape so as you can see after that you just save you press the save button you save your image you can share it already you can connect your facebook account to snapio okay and you can share already your your image if you want to and you, then you have the download option after you save it it will be saved in your graphics section right here in my graphics okay so nothing will get lost if you want to reuse it or modify it in the future you will be able to do that now i hope this was very useful for you guys this is an app that i highly recommend to you as you have seen it's very very easy to use now a, a very good website and platform where you can also find icons that you can use and graphics that you can use in your ad images uh, it's iconfinder.com okay iconfinder.com you can see here the address of the website in my in my uh, browser okay search bar in my browser bar here and for example here on icon finder you can search for icons and uh, you can practically uh, you will see that you can select the uh, filters okay you can apply filters because this is a platform where you, where you will find free graphics and also paid graphics and for example i will search for computer i just want you guys to see an example okay and i have for example more uh, most of them are one dollar okay but i can select here in the filter menu in the left side 
you have a price range okay you have different types of filters and if I select free then it will give me all the options I have for what I have been looking okay what I have been searching for for computer I have all the options that are free and that I can use and you just click on the images you download them okay and then you can upload them in your snap uh, in your snap your account okay and use them there okay in your ads there so this is a very good place where you can find a lot of cool icons that you can use in your images okay you can select here for example vector maybe you want just vector icons or something like that icon size maybe you want bigger icons okay so you can find different types of icons uh, you just have to okay you just have to select your filters uh, set your price range for free or maybe if you want to buy them on premium and download them and upload them in your in your uh, account in snapio and then use them in your images guys this was all for this uh, for this lecture i hope these two platforms will be very useful for you i highly recommend you snapio because as you have seen you already have some uh, some pre-made templates that were proven to convert okay they were proven to to get your viewers attention and also you have here icon finder where you can find great graphics and icons that you can use in your images with that being said these are very these are two very strong tools that you can use to create uh, amazing uh, images for your facebook ads i hope uh, they will help you as much as they help me uh, that was all for this lecture i will see you guys in in the next lecture i thank you for your attention and bye bye for now sorry in here Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how you can use a free online platform which is actually very very cool, it will help you to create uh, different types of graphics and different types of templates that you can use for different marketing activities that you have in your business like uh, Facebook covers, Twitter covers, YouTube uh, thumbnails, uh, different envelopes, business cards and other things like that. You will see that you will have a multiple of templates and layouts from which you can choose and from which you can uh, select the one that it's fitted for you and for your needs in your marketing activity. Now the platform that I want to share with you in this video and show you exactly how you can use it, it's called Relay. Now first things first, what you have to do is go to the web page or website that you can see right now on my screen here in my browser address so relay that.com okay basically the name i think states it uh, states it all uh, you take uh, everything that you have graphical elements okay images and all that other stuff and you just simply relay it okay put it in a different order create a different layout because that's what the app is all about now what you want to do uh, what you want to do after you come to this page you want to sign up for free you will see this big button here sign up free okay you create a free account and afterwards you will be able to log into your account now i will log into my account which i've already created and i will show you step by step how you can uh, create some designs okay which are the options that you have using this uh, this amazing app and i am sure that you are going to love it 100 percent and that you are going to use it into your business or even for personal stuff i know like facebook personal covers and other things like that okay just to have fun let's say so so after you have created your account uh, if you go back on this page here relate that.com you will have this option okay as you can see for me it's account log out for you it will be login you log in with your uh, credentials now i will just press here on this button and it will bring me back to this page okay so basically you will see that i have this menu here okay layouts projects uh, archive go pro obviously uh, all online platforms that have a sign up free button and have a free version have also a paid version for those that want more from them and also like a short training if you want to understand better how to go through the uh, through the app but it won't be, be the case because uh, you will have already been through this course and you'll know how to use it okay so first things first what you want to do is go to the layout section here so i will just uh, click on the layout section and basically here is the editor here you will select your layout your templates absolutely everything okay 
Now, what you'll see here in the left side is a menu from which you can select your templates. You'll see that they are organized in, uh, let's say, in different categories based on the purpose that you want to use the design for. Like, for example, posts, okay, for social square posts, social white posts, like for Facebook, for Instagram, for Twitter, covers, Facebook cover, Twitter header, creators, maybe, I don't know, you want to create a mock-up or an infographic or a book cover, a book promo or even presentations, okay? Or album cover, ads, maybe you want to create a Facebook ad. So for those of you who are running Facebook ads for their businesses right now at this moment, this tool can actually be very, very useful. And you'll see that you also have a set of tools here like cropping photos, Snapchat filters, collages, You want if you want to create collages, I know for personal reasons or to expose like a portfolio of your business, maybe you are a photographer or you have uh, dif different types of products into your business, this tool can actually be very, very useful. Uh, an Instagram plan, watermarker, if you want to add watermarks to your photos, again, maybe you are a photographer or something like that, that tool can be also very, very useful and we will go fast through them so you can just have like an idea because they are very easy to use and if you are interested specifically in one of them you will uh, you will discover on your own how to use it because you will see it's very intuitive and easy to use as i specified before now let me go back to okay in the upper part of my dashboard the first thing that you are going to see in your menu here is this theme section and if i will click on this theme section you will see that i have a number of themes here okay for which i can scroll basically this type of themes will change the colors and the fonts that i use for all of my templates that i can see here so basically the themes are like something that come over the templates it will change the colors and the fonts that you are using in any of your uh, templates okay or in any of your graphics for example let's select the, the first one uh, facebook branded i will confirm it okay and as you can see, it changed the fonts here, it changed the colors to all my logos and other stuff like that, okay? Now, here, if you will see this uh, other section in the menu, in the left side menu, layouts, here we can basically see all the, layout, the layouts that we have, so we don't have a specific order. If you just scroll down, you will see a lot, a lot of layouts. And we don't want to see them all, actually. We want to go straight to the point. So what we want to do is scroll a little bit down and we will find the sections from which we can actually select the templates we are interested in. So for example, right now, maybe I'm interested in creating a Facebook cover. Uh, all I have to do is go with my cursor over this uh, title here, Facebook cover. I will press here or click here with my mouse and you will see that, uh, okay, the templates will load for me. Okay, so as you can see, I have different types of templates here for my Facebook cover, right? Now, uh, obviously, the images that you can see here, for example, let me select this one. Okay, all the images that you can see here uh, are for one of my businesses. So this is not something that I randomly, that uh, you will randomly get from the program. Okay, these images with gardening stuff and flowers and somebody gardening. Okay, uh, these are images that I've personally uploaded. Obviously, you can upload your own images. There's no problem with that. So basically, how you can edit this template for example, you have these images here, okay? And you'll see that you have photos here, okay? One, two, three, four, and the backdrop, okay? So basically the back backdrop is the background of the template. As you can see, if I will go with my mouse here in the menu on the backdrop, you can see that uh, I can actually see the whole image, okay? The, the whole photo in the editor. Then uh, you can see that I have the fourth image here with the call to action. Uh, what I can do is basically I can hide the image if I want to, okay, from this small button here, or I can edit the image if I want to, I know, add a certain effect to it, okay, make it darken, make it uh, fader, uh, give it a little bit of contrast. Uh, I have different effects here, okay, as you can see here uh, below the actual image, I have this editor like invert, okay, hue, vignette, okay, smooth. Let me go back, I don't like these effects. The contrast one, I like it. Okay, and I have to confirm the, the effect if I like it. Okay, I will confirm the adjustment by pressing on this button and that's how I've edited my image. Now, if I want to, 
let's say change the image the only thing that i have to do is just click on it okay go to download section or wherever you have your images on your computers uh, you select an image that you want i don't know let me just find one as an example for you guys uh, let's say that i will select this one okay and as you can see it uploaded my new image here okay it works the same for all the other spaces here you can see the images here you just have to click on them select a different images a different image and so on right now above this section with your photos you have the colors okay uh, first of all you have the shapes you can hide the colored element okay the basically the border of the shapes or you can activate it Okay, so you can see that you have like this switch on and off button under all of your elements to hide it or, I don't know, activate it. And if I will click on the color of the image, I can basically change it. As you can see, if I'm scrolling down for the colors here, okay, if I'm going with my mouse over, if you have a look here in this part while I am playing with the colors, it will change the colors. Okay, maybe let's say that we want a white, we press done and that's it, okay. The overlay, basically that fade overlay that we can see on the backdrop image, we can change that as well. Let's go maybe for something green like that. We press the button done and we can even change the backdrop a little bit. Okay, but basically we don't have a backdrop. We have an image for the backdrop. Okay, then we can edit the text that we can see here, like the call to action, test one. You can see that it has been edited here hashtag the same okay then we can change the fonts if we want to basically this is how it works guys pretty pretty nice right now let's say that in the middle of editing our template we want to change the theme okay the colors and everything no problem we can see that we have the themes here above our editor let's say that we like this one here we just have to press on it we press the button confirm and you can see that the fonts have already been changed okay basically in this case it will only change the fonts because we have different colors based on the template and based on what we have worked uh, and edited here uh, up to this point right so this is how simple it is it is guys okay to to create a new a new facebook cover or a new design now how do we save our design very very simple you will see that we'll have this uh, uh, this download button here we just have to click on it uh, it will prepare the download for us bear with me for a couple of seconds because it will take uh, a couple of minutes for it to load one out of ten downloads used this month oh this is something that i forgot to tell you but uh, probably you won't use this so much in uh, in order to use all of your downloads you have 10 downloads per month okay using this app i think it's more than enough for somebody who is just creating a design from time to time you won't need all of that now after the download has been prepared i will press the download button and voila it downloads my design to my computer let's check it out so this is my new facebook cover guys pretty neat right so it looks actually pretty pretty nice this is how you create it very very interesting right now let's take a look uh, at some of the other stuff that we have here in the left side menu some of the other uh, templates for example maybe i want to create a social media post i will just go to the social square post click on it and wait with me for a couple of seconds and as you can see we have different templates here uh, this is for a book promotion okay so basically you can see we have different types of posts here I like all of them. They are actually very, very good, some of them. Uh, for example, this one, it actually looks very, very nice, very neat, okay? Now, let me go to other stuff like uh, Facebook cover. We went through that, creators, mockups. Let's see what mockups templates we have. Uh, okay, this is one example, one example, another example of mockup template. Facebook ads, let's go through the Facebook ads okay pretty neat for example this one i think it's a very good facebook type of ad or this one as well okay so you can have facebook ads as you can see or this one this one is also very good facebook ads or this one can also be something very very good or even this one okay guys so you have different types of templates of facebook ads and uh, i think some of them are actually really really good for example this one or this one here 
or even this one, okay? So you have from where to choose. Now let's go uh, through the tools as well a little bit. Let's see the collage tool, for example. And afterwards I'll let you be because probably you got sick and tired of watching me through this video, okay, explaining to you. So as you can see, we have different templates of collages. Uh, some of them are actually really, really nice. For example, I like this one. This one, it's also very, very good. This one here looks pretty interesting. So we have different templates for collages as well. Uh, watermarker, let's see the watermarker in action. So this is how a watermarker looks like. Okay, basically, for example, if you want to use uh, the watermark, we just have to select a template type. And obviously, instead of the icon, we can change with our logo. Instead of the logo, again, we can change with one images with one image of our own. And you will have an image with watermark after that. Okay, just click on the two images, change it with uh, your logos or your own watermarks, and you will have an image with your watermark on it. As simple as that. Afterwards, you download it to your computer, you post it wherever you have to post it, and you will have an image with a watermark so nobody can steal it from you and use it for their own purposes. Now, guys, I hope that this was helpful for you. I hope that uh, you have learned something in this video, and I hope that you will enjoy this tool, Relay, because it actually has some very cool templates and features. And I hope it will be useful in your marketing activity and for your business and even for fun purposes. Why not? Thank you again for watching and I'm looking forward to see you in my other videos as well. And till next time, I wish you all the best and maximum success. Bye bye for now. Sorry in here. Hello guys, first of all, thank you very much for watching this video. In this short series, we will talk about how to use a free online app that I've recently found and tested out, which is absolutely great for creating designs in a very professional manner, designs that you can use for your marketing activity, for your business, or even for personal pur purposes, okay? Now the app is called uh, gravit.io, so you will find it at this uh, web address that you can see right now on my screen in my browser address. So this is the address where you have to go, uh, gravit.io, okay? So basically this is an app, it's not a very popular app, it has uh, a paid version and a free version. Basically they also have included a marketplace in this uh, app that they have created. So you can sell your designs after you create it here or you can use it for your own purposes. Uh, whatever you want to do with them, it works just fine for me or for the app itself, okay? Uh, but basically I've tested it uh, out for creating some of my marketing materials, some of my marketing graphics. And uh, basically I've discovered that uh, the app has a very complex editor behind. Uh, you can do some pretty crazy things with it. I mean, it's very, very complex like a lot over other platforms out there uh, which are also cloud-based and for free for creating designs basically it has some features that only photoshop probably has with creating vectors and other things like that i won't go into a lot of designing uh, details okay like how to i don't know how to create a vector or how to use different uh, uh, different complex tools because the whole idea is for you to have access to a to an app which is uh, absolutely very, very easy to use. So you can create your designs very fast for your marketing activity because probably that is what you are interested in, okay? So first things first, what I want you to do is go to the web address that you will, that you see there in my browser, uh, gravit.io, create an account for free. After you will create uh, your account and log in, this is what you will see on the first page, what you are seeing right now on my screen. So basically this is your dashboard. As you can see, you have a menu here in the upper part of your screen. And then you also have a left side menu uh, here where you can see other things like, uh, basically I didn't tell you this, but you can work with the theme on the designs that you create. As you can see, you have an option here shared with me. Uh, if you are working with a theme, uh, it's like a Google Drive for designs, okay? You just access the share with me function, okay? Or folder and uh, right there in that folder, you will find the designs that are shared with you, okay? Then you have another folder, my designs, which you can also see here, okay? Uh, then you can see in recent, if you have any recent designs that you made public, public, so designs that you made public on the market, 
uh, or in trash, okay? Designs that you have, uh, let's say, deleted because you didn't like or something like that. Now, let me go back to the My Designs option here. I will click on it. So what you want to do right now, obviously the first thing is to create a new design. So you will have this option here. We click on this option, create design. So I will click on it. Now we will wait for the editor to load. What you can see uh, faded in the background is the actual editor. And the first thing is to select an option of design that you want to create from this uh, pop-up window that appeared in front of us on the screen right now. Uh, basically here we have also two options. We can create a design, a blank design. So from scratch, we will build it uh, up or we can uh, use the templates that uh, there are already here. Uh, for example, I will uh, filter the templates and show the most liked ones. And bear with me for a couple of seconds because uh, you will wait for a couple of seconds, even up to a minute for all the templates to load. Okay. There are a lot of templates and for different categories and it takes a while for them to load. Now, if you are not patient enough, you can just, I don't know, create a, a template from, from zero. Okay. From scratch. So there's no problem in doing that. Now that our templates have been loaded, we can scroll through them and select the one that we like or that we need for our own graphic, okay? And for example, here we have a website template. Here we have a landing page. Here we have a portfolio website. So as you can see, we have pretty complex graphics and designs for some of the templates. But let me scroll down and find something which is more simple like a Facebook post, okay? or something like a Twitter cover or anything like that, okay? And for example, we have here a Mother's Day Facebook post, which looks pretty nice, but let's see if we can find anything else. Uh, nature, marketing, cooking, okay, Facebook. This is like a Facebook cover, as you can see, this one the same. Facebook cover, again, a different Facebook cover. Uh, so as you can see, we have a lot of types of Facebook covers here. Okay, but I will scroll down because I want to see what other templates we have and choose one that I really like. Let me see, let me see, just a second. Okay, here is a mock-up. Okay, Moment Corporate Black Friday. Okay, let me select uh, this one here. I think it looks pretty interesting. Okay, we will use this one. So you have to press the button use and it will load your cover okay so guys this is how it looks as you can see this is a very interesting facebook cover okay because it contains multiple elements in it okay and that makes it a pretty pretty interesting facebook cover and as you can see uh, the editor looks pretty complex here in the left side menu you can see all the elements that you have included in your uh, in your canvas to say so okay here in the upper part you'll see that you have a menu with file okay you can save basically your project Ed editing options insert from the insert section you can insert different images into your uh, into your project okay uh, you can upload your own images you can insert photos you will see that you'll also have some stock photos uh, given by them for free icons the same thing you will see that you'll have a set of icons for free that you can use you can insert from market okay you have that market i've told you about where you can find different elements that you can insert uh, or you can insert a new layer okay because it's a it's an editor based on layers okay so you'll, you'll create images that are very complex based on different layers with different elements that's the whole idea okay as i specified to you earlier it's a pretty complex editor now, let me go back because I will show you a little bit later how to insert a new element. You have modify, okay, the modify function where you can basically select different elements and you have some uh, some modification commands here, which are pretty simple. Though the, the editor, it's very, very basic. It's like a drag and drop. As you can see, you, you can play with it very, very easily. Uh, now let me show you, for example, we have selected an element here. Okay. As you can see, we have two options here in the upper menu forward or backward. Basically each of the elements is a layer in this, uh, in this canvas. And for example, we can move this element that we have selected right now. We can move it forward to appear in front. Okay. Or we can move it backward. 
for example we can move this one backward because this one is probably the first layer as you can see it's selected here so we can move it backward and you can see that its position has been changed or we can move it forward again so this is one way to do it okay to move uh, layers forward or backwards or another way to do it is just click on it in the left side menu okay and reposition them okay as simple as that let me undo this okay so you just have to reposition them which is very simple okay that's how you reposition them you just have to follow what i am doing right now okay but uh, be very careful to follow that red line okay because another option that you can have is overlaying images so basically you put an image in an image and you don't have you don't you won't get the result that you want okay by doing that i will just press the undo button right now so another very cool thing that uh, for most of the free cloud-based online graphic editors uh, don't have so something that the other editors don't have and this one has and works very well it's the undo or redo functions okay which are pretty complex and oftentimes they are available only for paid versions of cloud-based apps or only for softwares that you have downloaded already to your computer and installed there okay so a lot of times you don't have these functions for free uh, for free uh, softwares but for this one you have okay now let me show you uh, other options that you have here okay the view section because we haven't finished with the menu yet okay so you have different uh, options to view okay your your editor and the help section where you can find support tutorials hotkeys doc documentation and other stuff like that now let me show you other things i want to insert a new a new me media here and for example let's say that i want to insert a new icon to this uh, okay to this template i will just go here in the insert section i will press the icon button okay and here you can see we have a lot of types of icons okay if you scroll down the list will just uh will just continue okay and continue so we have a lot of a lot of options right and i like this one very much okay for me it sends a message something like uh, financial smart okay so this is a this is like a piggy bank and you have like a light bulb here inserted okay and let's put it here in a side because i just wanted to show you guys how you can insert a new icon as you can see you can work with it very easily okay edit it resize it it's just simple drag and drop okay very basic now let's say that i will delete this one for now you, I, you just have to press the delete button on your keyboard and it will be deleted let's say that i want to change this one okay this element that i already have inserted here what i can do right now because probably i will want to change let me see here okay we can add effects to this one which is pretty interesting right let me see i want to change it the fill oh, let me go back i've pressed on something <clears throat> okay so maybe i want to change something at this element here okay for example, maybe I want to change its appearance, okay, to make it more faded. You will see that you will have in the element editor section here, basically here in the right side, you will have a menu where you edit your elements. So you will see that you have different sections here, okay, like the way it's positioned, okay. As you can see, you have different position stages here. We want it in this place, okay. We can flip it okay flip it horizontally flip it vertically it, ju it just depends on us then we have the appearance options here okay we can set the transparency from here okay just drag and drop we can uh, we can advance uh, we have different uh, let's say different uh, filling options okay blending overlay for example soft light normal multiply let's see the multiply which looks pretty interesting okay we have different type of dashes okay arrows so we have a lot of a lot of things here okay which are pretty interesting we have a border we can change the color of the border as you can see we can make it a little bit gradient we don't want that 
we wanted something like this okay so it gives it a nice effect so from here you edit the border you can basically fill it but you don't have how to fill it because it's already it already has an image we can replace it which is pretty interesting maybe try something related let's see city nope uh, let's leave it like it is okay you can change the original size we can crop it we can change the colors if we have any colors we don't okay let me go back now original size nope we don't want the original size let me go back we can change the color let me undo it because we didn't want the original size okay scale corner proportionality okay this is another option basically we can scale it from the corners okay we can make it larger smaller effects we don't have any effects for now but we can add effects if you want to okay like blur like fast blur can have a radius to it okay we can make like an outer glow oh uh, let's see we can give it some shadow if you want if you want to okay you can see it's like a small shadow that appeared there okay if you have a look okay at the shadow the fast blur okay we can make it like this so you have a lot of options when you are editing something right so a lot of options when you are editing an element now you got the idea how to edit an element it's pretty pretty nice now as you can see here in the upper part okay just above the the canvas you have some other options as well we went through the undo redo options the zooming in and zooming out it's something very very uh, easy fit all okay so it will fit uh, your whole screen uh, you have the select options here okay and you have other options for example like uh, to insert shapes well let's say that we want to insert a rectangle here okay we can edit it as well as other elements exactly in the same style as other elements i will delete it for now okay so we can insert different things from here like lines triangles stars okay we can i don't know just play around okay and edit and as you can see this is like an editable element which is very very simple we can add a new text if you want to like hello okay let me show you an example as you can see it has been created a new layer here in the left side menu and from here for the text we go in the in the right side okay where we edit elements and you can see that we have the uh, the classic options for editing text okay for example like choosing the font let's say that I like this one let's change the size make it 60 okay let's change the color I think white would be a very good color here okay that's nice fixed width okay we leave it like this uh, we can add effects like I don't know outer glow okay so we have a pretty interesting text right now right hello 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 let's make it more okay let's straight it. let's make it straight okay like that hello okay we can add effects radius okay the classic effects let's put it here okay so this is how you add a new element okay for example text media i showed you how to add an icon you can upload your own images okay so basically these are all the options that you have you can uh, you can create a group of elements that you can edit together for example i have selected here all the elements almost okay i can group them all and as you can see it has created like a single element a whole group so everything that i do right now for example if i want to add an effect i will add it to the whole group for example like stroke okay or uh, blur again we want to add a lens blur right as you can see it has been added to the whole group right why because it treats the whole group as a single element okay we have a group which has multiple layers we have to select a single layer in order to edit it okay otherwise we edit the whole group 
Okay, now let me select it all and press the button split. Okay, and again we have single elements. And you have seen how forward and backward works. So basically guys, you have seen how this app works. Okay, it's pretty interesting, pretty complex for a web-based app, which is for free. And uh, you have some pretty nice templates, uh, but uh, even without the templates, the, the fun part is, for example, if I will press here new design, bear with me for a couple of seconds. So from the blank version here, we already have all the sizes set up for most common designs that are out there for social media or marketing. For example, if I want to, to create a Facebook cover, I just select from here the the size that it's right for me and I can start to design it from scratch, okay? And I have everything that I possibly need to create a stunning design here with this app. Now guys, I hope uh, this was helpful for you, this video. I hope that you'd use uh, this app uh, for your marketing activity, for creating very, very cool designs and high converting designs. And I'm looking forward to see your feedback and comments uh, upon this app. And I really hope uh, you enjoyed this video, this series, and that you found it helpful. Again, thank you very much for your attention. And I hope to see you in my other videos and series as well. And till next time, I wish you all the best and maximum success. Till then, I wish you uh, again uh, everything that, uh, that it's best for you. And I say to you, bye-bye for now. Sorry in here. Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome back to our next lecture. In this lecture, I wanted to share with you guys uh, a tool that uh, I've been using to create a lot of cool images and graphics, uh, not just for my ads, but for my emails and much, much more. Uh, it's called Canva.com. It's a platform. It's a cloud-based software, more than that. So uh, it's a place where you can design, uh, you can design your, or your own images, your own graphics. They have a lot of cool templates that you can use and uh, and it's actually very very easy to use it's uh, it has a very good interface it's user friendly you can access it from uh, with, uh, from wherever you want and uh, from uh, where you have inter an internet connection okay because you have uh, uh, you have like an account okay which is cloud based and everything it's saved for you there so this is my dashboard exactly as you can he see here you can create an account very very easy because uh, you can connect with your Facebook account for example and after you create an account you have a dashboard just like the one you see on my screen right now this is my dashboard and you can start creating your first design okay you have a create uh, create a design here option as you can see before this uh, be, uh, below this header okay with uh, the create the design options there are all my graphics that i have created till now okay a lot of them as you can see uh, different types some for, some for facebook ads other for uh, for banner ads other for uh, email uh, other as email marketing headers okay as email headers so you have a lot of options so everything will be saved for you exactly as you can see here you can then enter you can copy uh, and uh, re-edit for example that image uh, you can edit directly that image you can delete it you can do whatever you want okay you also have some some informations here okay you can share designs with other people that have canva accounts uh, you can learn to design okay you can you can get design inspiration so you have a lot of options now let's get back to the app itself you have the create a design option maybe for example you want to do a facebook cover a facebook post an instagram post whatever you want presentation you have different options uh, if you want to use this uh, this platform uh, to create an ad it's actually very simple a facebook ad you just uh, go to the more button you just press the button and all the options will appear for you okay and as you can see here you have social media posts documents blogging and and ebooks okay you can create an uh, an uh, an ebook cover for example if you want to uh, marketing materials like flyers posters okay menus business cards and so on social media and email headers maybe you want for an event to create an uh, a header or something like that youtube channel art so you have different options every single options or any option that you will select you will see you have different types of templates that you can uh, after that edit okay after you enter and select that template for example we will go to ads okay we have facebook ads white skyscraper medium rectangle leather board large rectangle if we click on the facebook ad uh, you will see that the app will load 
you the template okay and this is practically the editor in Canva and now in the left part of the screen uh, in the layout section this is the first thing that will appear for you you can select a template that you want to use for your ad okay you will see that you will have like a small icon here which uh, which states free that means that you can use for free this template other type of templates for example uh, you have to pay for them and you have to click on them to see exactly how much you want uh, you have to pay for them so you can select your free ones for example we can select uh, the wine list I'm, I just want to show you guys an example and you can now edit the template if you want to for example you can edit the okay the text you can select what type of font you want okay what size to be what color uh, you also have other options like uppercase uh, how to align your text okay you, uh, if uh, it should have a, a certain transparency then you have the other text which you can edit this one too uh, and then you can edit the background if you want you can add filters to your background for example uh, we can add like uh, a retro filter okay this is how it will look like uh, you have advanced options okay for uh, different uh, indicators that you can set them at different values okay for example uh, uh, vignette okay uh, the blur the blurry okay blurred one to create a more blurred image and you have different types of options okay if you will go you can flip it you can crop the image you can even change the image with the color if you want to okay so you have that option too so you have a lot of options that you can use to create a beautiful background also uh, you can go to the background option and select a different type of background if you want to okay you will see here that you have different types of backgrounds also a lot of them are free like patterns okay but you also have paid backgrounds and most of the time any element that you will select it's uh, somewhere around one dollar okay uh, besides the free the free uh, the free stuff okay the free graphics so most of the elements that you will select will be somewhere at one dollar the rest of them probably will be for free uh, then you can upload your own stuff for example as you can see here I have a lot of things that I've uploaded myself they will all appear to you in time they will be saved here okay like in a media library and you can select them and insert them again for example if I will click on this icon this one I found with icon finder okay and you can make it to be like uh, uh, like uh, okay the, the background if you want to but uh, you also have if uh, if you think that you you did something wrong and you want to go back you have the undo option okay so it's actually very very useful and has all the options that uh, that maybe a standalone uh, software editor software would have so it's actually very very complex uh, then you can go to the search function for example and here you have different different graphic elements that you can use okay to create your images for example you have frames maybe you want to use frames uh, we have talked uh, uh, that uh, that headshots for example had uh, that images uh, in Facebook that use headshots are very very popular and convert very very well and for example you can select a frame here like this one okay and you can upload an image in it with somebody for example okay so you have the frame here okay uh, you have the headshot okay in the frame so you have different options then if you go okay let's uh, let's exit the frame section if you go to grids okay a grid it's like a collage of photos okay you can add photos from different uh, uh, dif you can add different photos in the same image okay maybe you want to do a grid a collage so you have here different templates that you can use then if you go to for example now they had something special for the Halloween okay with the graphics for the Halloween then you have different illustrations that you can use okay different icons or not just icons vectors that you can use okay so all the time they upload uh, they uh, they update this stuff and they add more stuff that you can use for for your images for example you can add this uh, this globe okay it's very nice maybe you want to do something like uh, you have like a tra travel agency and you want to do that, to use this in an image for I don't know an offer or something like that so you have different types you can even search here okay you have different different cool graphics that you can use for your images so Canva it's absolutely stunning in my opinion 
Uh, now let's see other other uh, other options too. You have different shapes, for example. Okay, that you can insert, as you can see here. You have lines. Okay, different types of lines. Okay, dotted. Uh, I don't know, dotted. Okay, like a graphic. Uh, uh, lines, okay, arrows and stuff like that. You have a lot, a lot of options. Then you have icons because we have talked about icons too that you can insert, okay. Icons are very, very used in uh, in uh, ads and in images and they convert very well, so I recommend them to you. Okay, and then you have photos too. You have free photos that you can use, you can, uh, you can select paid photos, okay. Uh, you also have charts for example, different types of charts that you can use, maybe you want to do a presentation or something like that, uh, or maybe you want to, to point out something, you just change its name if you want to, okay, and after that you just, uh, you just press the button download to download the image to your computer, or you can share the image if you want directly to your Facebook, so you can do that too if you want to. So Canva, it's absolutely stunning guys, I highly recommend it to you, as you have seen it's very user friendly, it's easy to, to access, okay, you can, you can have access to it anywhere and it absolutely blows your mind with what type of images you can create. I mean, uh, your images will be like made by a, a, a professional graphician or something like that, okay? So you can do stunning ads with Canva, I highly recommend it to you. With that being said, I thank you for your attention and I will see you guys in the next lecture. Bye bye for now, Sorin here. Hello guys, Sorin here, uh, just wanted to show you another very cool online app that you can use for free to create uh, viral images out of uh, quotes. Uh, it's a very very simple app but it has some very powerful templates. Uh, the app is called RecitThis.com, you can see it here in my, uh, in my browser if you have a look okay so recite this.com it's actually very very simple this is the only page and the main page that you will see for this app you just enter here on this website and you will see here in the lower part of your of your page okay you have some templates okay some pages uh, that you can select from for example this dashboard here okay you can just scroll through all the templates see whichever you whichever you like the most select one Okay, for example, uh, you can have this cartoon board, okay, and you can type in a very simple, uh, I don't know, like a quote here, uh, for example, Monday is beautiful. I know that a lot of people hate Mondays, so I thought that, it, that this would be a very good joke, so Monday is beautiful, okay, and then you just click the button create okay and you are actually done okay you can your your photo is now done okay you will just have the logo here so that's not very very nice but okay for <laughs> for for some posts you can use this because you can actually can create some very very cool stuff then you can post it directly to facebook twitter tumblr okay you can download your image for example directly like this Okay, this will be your image, so it's actually very nice. Uh, you can send it to a friend, you have a permanent link, for example, if you just want to, to, use, uh, to use the link, okay, to, to upload the photo and so on. So it's actually a very, very simple, simple to use uh, app. Then if you go to find a code, for example, you can find codes that you can use uh, for different domains, for different niches, for example, for beauty, okay, a beauty is a woman you notice, so it will upload directly your code, so you can also have uh, direct codes that you can already use that are integrated in the app. So that's actually very cool also because you don't have to find a code on your own. 
So this is a very cool app. You can use it like like uh, Pablo from Buffer. Okay, it's actually very simple. You have seen that. So I hope you will enjoy it. Thank you guys for your attention. Bye bye for now. Sorry in here. Hello guys, sorry in here. Uh, I want to show you another very very cool tool that you can use to create viral images for your Facebook posts and not just for your Facebook post, also for Twitter or Pinterest or Instagram. Uh, you know that uh, uh, people share a lot right now images that have quotes on them, okay, life quotes, personal development quotes, uh, business quotes, uh, leadership quotes and so on. And this, uh, this type of images are very, very catchy. People absolutely love them, share them like crazy. So it can create a, a great virality for you. Okay, you can have that, uh, that traction, you can get that traction for your page, okay, for getting likes, getting shared getting a lot of uh, exposure for your business so the app uh, it's actually very simple you you just have to create an account on buffer.com i don't uh, i don't even think you need to create an account for this app but uh, i recommend you to uh, to create an account a free account on buffer.com you can uh, create a free account for free you can log in with your facebook account already okay why because it's a very powerful tool also for uh, automatic automatic scheduling your posts and uh, different uh, different tasks that you can uh, auto automate for your social media accounts so the app is called Pablo okay it's buffer.com slash Pablo as you can see here okay it's uh, it's motto it's very very nice engaging social images in 40 seconds why because you just enter on the platform just like that okay and you already you just have to select your background you have a lot of cool backgrounds here okay for example you can select this one the night sky okay with stars then you select your uh, your dimension here for if you want for pinterest for instagram okay or, or white for facebook or twitter okay and you also have some effects here contrast if you want to be okay uh, a normal contrast or if you want to have a contrast with effect if you want the background to be blurred okay or if you want it normal or if you want it black or white or not so i will let it be like that okay i don't want it to be blurry you can also upload your own backgrounds if you want to but uh, you have a lot of cool photos here so you may not need to what is the most interesting part is that you already have the quote here okay uh, you also can add a secondary text here, you know, like, uh, I don't know, maybe like a subtitle. And you can also add your custom logo. You just click on, uh, you just turn turn the button on, okay, for the custom logo. And you will need to upload something here. For example, we can upload this small icon, okay, which will appear here. And you can put your logo here, for example. You can change its size, its radius, okay, whatever you want. Uh, and then you have the option for example here this is actually very very nice if you do not if you do not like the quote you see here you can shuffle qu quotes okay it will change your quote so you don't even have to look for quotes on the internet okay you just shuffle the quote you find the the good one for uh, for for that day you just select a background and then you just share your image, you can share your image directly, so it's connected directly to your Facebook account, or you can download your image. So you just press the download your image button, and it will download your image, okay? It's rendering, and now it's downloaded, as you can see it here. It's a PNG image. So this is actually very, very nice. You can create uh, uh, viral images with uh, with life quotes and business quotes on on demand it just exactly in 30 seconds maybe even faster so this is a very cool app i hope you guys like it and i hope you will uh, use it wisely thank you guys for your attention and i will see you in our next lecture bye bye till then sorin here hello friends sorin here welcome back to our course welcome back to our next uh, lecture in this uh, lecture i wanted to show you guys a tool that uh, you can use to create vir viral images you know already those viral images with quotes that go all over the social media platforms uh, they are practically hijacking uh, any type of traffic on social media okay they are everywhere and people love them 
and depending on the industry for example you can uh, you can use them if you are a trainer if you are in network marketing maybe if you are into personal development if you are a life coach or a business development coach or uh, a leadership instructor or something like that okay because uh, practically these images are the most relevant for people that that are into personal development and other stuff like that so the tool that uh, I'm showing you here as you can see here on my screen uh, it's called uh, quozio.com okay it's a very very simple app you can log in with your Facebook account you have to be logged into your Facebook account and I will show you exactly right now how you can do that I will just log in with my Facebook account okay it's actually very very simple i will not allow the uh, platform immediately to post anything on my wall okay or to my friends publicly but i will allow it to log in with my facebook account okay and this is exactly what you will see on your first page you just enter your quote for example i've made a very special quote today that i've posted on my social media account and i will show you uh, it's something like blah blah okay blah blah this sends a very powerful message to the audience i'm joking with you right but you can find different types of quotes in uh, different places on the internet you just can go on google and find a lot of websites where you can find famous quotes in absolutely every single niche that you could think about also with their authors and everything that you need okay so don't worry about that so you just type in your quote here and you then type the name of the author the mighty okay and that's it then you press the button go very very simple stuff okay this is this is rocket science guys as you can see so but this is actually very very efficient and i don't know if you guys are uh, are uh, watching over over this whole personal development okay trend that is going on but but people actually follow a lot of these images and they can create viral exposure for your br your brand and they are even more powerful if you have a personal brand that you can develop for yourself okay and then you have different templates of text uh, that you can use for example you can use a whiteboard okay i'm waiting it for it to load like this okay you can use uh, other templates okay like this one so you have different backgrounds that you can actually use you can find them here in the menu okay you just press on the buttons on the small arrows to go to the uh, to the other templates that you can choose from so you have a couple of very good templates here that you can choose so this is obviously a very simple to use tool that you can uh, you can use actually for your uh, for your social media accounts if you exactly as I've, I've told you before if you are in this industry where this type of images go viral okay in this type of posts I've seen many uh, many personal uh, many personal uh, and public persons that are using this, this type of images and work for them very well but as I've told you before it depends very much on the niche you are in because otherwise if you are using them in the unsuited niche to say so uh, you may you may make a fool out of yourself okay I don't know how to say it otherwise but you can become a fool out of yourself okay you can make a fool out of yourself if you are using this type of images in other niches so be very careful in what type of niches you are using this and after that how you save your image is actually very simple you right click on the image save image as and after that you just upload it to your social account wherever you want to upload it obviously you can automatically share it on google okay from here or other on facebook google plus tweet or anything anything else uh, anything uh, else or other platforms where you actually have a button to do that for okay so i hope uh, this was uh, helpful for you guys obviously as you can see here you also have my quote section uh, and I recommend uh, this uh, this app to you if you want to do something very quick, very efficient and if it's suited for your niche and only if it's suited for your niche. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I thank you very much for your attention. You already know you are awesome and I send you my best regards and best wishes. Till next lecture. Bye bye. Sorin here. Hello guys. Sorin Constantin here. Welcome to our next lecture from... Uh, from this course in this lecture we will talk about uh, a tool an online tool that uh, I like very much and I think it can be very useful for you guys 
uh, because you can create uh, something uh, something uh, very unique that can uh, can help you boost your exposure i like this tool very much because you can create infographics and infographics as uh, we have probably talked before or if uh, we haven't are uh, are elements that can go viral and can create a lot of exposure for your business uh, if you if you touch certain topics in your marketplace that uh, that have a lot of interest for for people uh, they can go viral okay uh, obviously if they haven't uh, been uh, touched before these topics if they haven't been touched before or approached before uh, even more will create exposure for uh, for your business so this tool it's called pictochart and you can actually do different uh, different types of presentations, images, posters, reports, and infographics with it. You can create an account for free. You can log in with your Facebook accounts. Most most of these online platforms and tools that you will see me uh, explaining to you and uh, exposing to you in my lectures, you will see you can practically connect with Facebook. I think every single uh, every single tool online you can uh, you can connect with uh, you can create an account automatically with facebook or with other social media accounts and this is no different case okay you you create a free account with your facebook account and after you create your free account this is what you will see in your picto chart okay you can see exactly here how it's called picto chart this is the first page where you select a template okay the infographic format you would like to use for example we select an infographic okay and now we have different templates okay three templates here obviously for example we can select this one because it's the most interesting for us as online entrepreneurs okay how to make money the startup way you can preview the template in the first place to see exactly how it looks like okay and after that you just create the template okay you press the create button and the we we wait for the editor to load now the app it's loaded okay and you can start editing everything in your uh, infographic you have more blocks that you can uh, that you can edit and you can see here exactly how to edit every single block okay and for example let's edit the first one the header so you guys can see you first of all you can select the text you can edit the text obviously as in any app or editor you can select the font okay the size if it will be bold if it will be italic okay uh, the alignment and other stuff like that also a very cool stuff that you can add to to your infographic is the fact that you can add different types of icons for example you have a huge collection of icons here okay you can add different types of shapes and lines as you can see here in this menu in your left side okay you can create you can add different types of photos if you want to and also you can create uh, you can add different types of photo frames okay for example we have these letters here which which look very nice okay and other types of, uh, of photos uh, then we have for example backgrounds we can use different types of backgrounds patterns that we can choose from for example let's have a look at this one okay with the stars it looks very very nice uh, then we have different types of text that we can use okay we also have some text frames here okay and text templates that we can use for example this one okay which looks very nice but I'll, I'll let you guys play with it more so you can see exactly how you can use them but I'm just showing you exactly where you have to go okay what what features do you have at your disposal and so on and then you have other tools like videos maps charts different types of charts okay after you finish creating your infographic the way you like it you just go to the uh, okay it's already saved you just go to the preview button to see exactly how it will look like okay and you just download your graphic okay you can leave a PNG format or JPEG format whatever suits you the, the most okay uh, for example you can download it in uh, this format or a medium format if you want more you have to to go to the pro version which obviously is paid but I think for starting out this uh, this version is perfect and now let's kick it off download as PNG okay and see exactly what we'll get I think this uh, this tool can be very very useful for you guys 
okay? Because uh, as I've told you and as I've stated before, infographics really go viral in a lot of niches. If you will look at top bloggers at what actually, at what they actually use, okay, you will see that a lot of them are using infographics and they uh, they state something, they, they do a lot of research, they state something in those infographics that wasn't approached before by other bloggers or other researchers in their niche. And that's how they establish themselves as an authority in, in their niche. Their infographics get viral, their articles get viral, they get a lot of exposure for their whole blog, not just for that infographic. People subscribe to their newsletter, uh, start to follow them on social media, and that's how practically they get uh, to become an authority and they get very well known in their marketplace. Let's have a look at how this uh, infographic looks like. This is it, okay? It's very nice. Uh, as you can see here, we can zoom in to see. One thing that you will find out in the free version is that uh, you will have the logo from PictoChart here in the slower part. They needed to promote their, their sales somehow. But uh, this is not inc inconvenient in the beginning if the information is very, very well structured and it sends a strong message. So guys, I hope that uh, you enjoyed the, this lecture about PictoChart. I hope you find it helpful. I hope that this tool will help you in your business in the future and in your social media strategy and to create uh, stunning social media images. I thank you very much for your attention. I know already that uh, you know already that you are awesome and I thank you for that. And uh, I send you my best wishes. I will see you guys in our next lectures. Bye bye for now. Sorry in here. Hello friends, Sorin here. Welcome back to our course and welcome back to our next lecture. In this lecture, I wanted to show you a tool that it's awesome if you want to promote a product, uh, a new service or something like that, okay? And uh, you practically want to create a mock-up, to use a mock-up like a MacBook Air or an iPhone or any device like that, okay? Because this type of, uh, of ads and this type of images look very professional if you promote uh, an app, for example, okay? Or a service or a website or a new platform or something like that and the website is called placeit.net it's actually very simple you can see here in my uh, in my browser okay and after you will enter the website you will see that you have different types of uh, different types of mockups from which you can choose they have a free plan okay you can test the app you can do different mockups not at a very high resolution but you can do your bootstrap work at the beginning with it and also you have a, a subscription, a monthly subscription if you want to use all the features that the, the app it's, uh, it's giving to you. And it's, uh, it's uh, from up to $15 per month. And you can use all their templates, video templates, images, uh, swap uh, multi-stages and different uh, other features like that. Okay. Now let me show you an example exactly to see how it works. We are already on the platform. For example, we can select this one okay this photo iphone mock-up featuring you just go and upload an image for example i would i will upload an, this image that i always use an, as an example okay i will crop the image right now and you will see exactly how the image will look like okay we'll process it, it's processing the image this is exactly how uh how the image looks like uh, as you can see here you can add text effects and you can download and you have like a small watermark here but it states very clear that downloads don't have watermarks so you can share it already okay you can grab screenshot from an url okay you can add some text and effects for example uh, we select the download image okay and after that you can add the text the effects and so on and for example if you click on the download uh let's see on the high no we just select the, sm the small version. If you go on the high version, okay, exactly as I've told you, for a higher resolution, you have to pay more, super high resolution, even more. Okay, so this is how these guys are making money. So uh, probably you won't need at the beginning a very high resolution. It depends on what you want to do with the mock-up. For example, if you want to use it printed, maybe you will need a high resolution. If you want to use it for your social media, I doubt you will need a higher resolution than this one. Just for example, if maybe you will need it for your cover photo or something like that. So you just press the button download and let's have a look. 
so you guys can see exactly how this looks like so it's actually a very nice photo okay this looks awesome this uh, gives a, a professional look to your photos as i stated before uh, it's crucial if you have uh, maybe an app if you are promoting an app on social media or if you are promoting uh, i don't know like a new service or a subscription plan or a new platform on social media uh, this gives it a very professional look so i really rec recommend you to use this uh, this app if you are promoting something like that so i hope this was helpful for you guys as you have seen it has a tons of features i'll let you uh, play with uh, all of them on yourself because you can do a lot of testing and a lot of stuff to see exactly how it works but you you got a general idea okay you can use this app uh, and uh, thank you very much for your attention you know already that you are awesome i send you my best wishes sorin here till next lecture bye bye